from LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings, LA Late. And the excitement continues this morning as a major series of two numbers are released. The first one is the Producer Price Index, which gives you a sense that weather inflation is peaked. It follows yesterday's CPI. And what was that number? We'll have the breaking news as it came in minutes ago. The other number, I know it's the Thursday morning, is the new jobless claims. That number did go higher. It was 260 last week. I said it was going to come in at 260 or go higher. It actually went higher. Well, I'll the details. How much higher? And what's also going higher? <laughs> your benefits. Your benefits are going up a lot. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, where will benefits, veterans benefits. We'll go over the analysis of that. Even if inflation has peaked, what you need to know, what the latest details are today. That's why you want to become a member of a Hawk for a Paracal Casino VIP and get that force stimulus check now in every U.S. state. They're done by executive action by Joseph Biden, the federal stimulus. We're going to go over all the incredible checks in today's recording. Plus, we have another corporation missing on that earnings front today. But there's a lot going on in the last few minutes. Of course, it's a big week of the summer with the CPI release yesterday, the producer price index release today, and uh, lobster shorts still out of fashion. My bacon's still missing. But other than that, it's looking really good. <laughs> in today's recording, we have a lot of major breaking news that came in minutes ago, folks. We have the producer price index that gauges how much the producer pays for the goods. If it came down a little bit less, it doesn't mean you're paying less for the goods at the supermarket. I'll explain the latest details across the board. Also, I'll explain whether that means inflation is peaked or not peaked, and what it means for you in this economy and a recession. Then we have the jobless claims number released minutes ago. It did go higher, but how much higher? All the breaking news on that front and why the labor rate fell last month, last Friday. And then finally, we'll go over the latest details about those four small checks in every state, the rate of benefits across the board, the analysis that we're watching, plus we'll look at that yield curve inversion that gives us indication of recession. We'll have a preview of tonight's evening's LA, and we'll go over the success stories. As one viewer got 80 to 100 checks, a lot of viewers got 14 checks plus in the last few days, and your success story should be next. It's the latest details for the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's a big week, and we're just getting started. I'm excited you're here. It's Morning's LA. It's live on air, and the breaking news starts right now. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful day. It is August 11, 2022, live on air from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's Mornings LA. Two major news stories breaking in just the last few minutes. The producer price index released and the labor number released as well. Let's start with the easier one. The labor number for new jobless claims for the week before came in. We know it comes in every Thursday. I've been covering on this channel since this channel launched. And we know it's been tracking higher. I said it was going to come in at 260 or track higher. Did I get it right? If you haven't been watching the news yet, jump in the live chat. And give me a prediction of what you're going to think that number will be. It did go higher. Let's go over what's at issue with this number. This is new jobless claims. And let's go see how this number has rised so quickly in just a short period of time. It was 140,000 back in late spring, early summer. Then it went to 160. Then it went to 200. Once it went to 200 about 30 days ago, I said it was going to go to 230. It did. I said it was going to spook the markets. It didn't until it got to 260 two weeks ago. And 260,000 is the highest number since uh, 2021, the end of 2021. So if you're in the live chat and you chose a higher number and you chose the jobless claims rose to 262,000, you got it right. Jobless claims rose to 262,000. This is the highest number of 2022. It's not good. And yet it's conflicting and confusing because the labor rate is falling. The labor rate was released once a month, came in last Friday. And that labor rate is the best labor rate since 1969. The lowest number of unemployed people in the U.S. economy since 1969. That's actually the headline number for unemployment. Whether it's the Federal Reserve, the White House, myself, 
or any policymaker, they look to that number before this number. It's confusing why one number is going one way and the other number is going the other way. But we'll have more about this tonight on E News Light. Here we go again. Got it right, but moreover, labor is not particularly that strong with now more people claiming unemployment than ever before. This, my friends, is why you have to get a forcible check in every U.S. state. These people who are claiming unemployment may think that it's going to pay them a check for unemployment like they saw in 2020 for unemployment. No. Gone is FPUC, that's $600 a week. Gone is PUA. Gone is PEUC. Now it's basic unemployment. That's not a lot of money. And that's why you have to get that forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. We can go over those checks in just a second. What you do if you just found this channel, become a member right on this video. Join the channel and stay to the big second half as I go over all these incredible checks one at a time. The second major question, of course, is that PPI. Did it beat or did it miss? Going back last month, it started on July 13th, when the CPI print came in on the 13th, and it beat, it went higher, highest number of 2022. The day after, the PPI beat went higher as well. The day after that, the retail sales came in. What happened yesterday? The first number, the CPI, the Consumer Price Index number, was released, and it cooled just a little bit. This is how much you, the consumer, pays for it. We'll go over that number in a second. But minutes ago, the breaking news was, of course, the second number, which also gauges inflation, was released. This is the producer price index. This is how much the wholesaler buys, pays for the goods before they sell it to you. Very important. So this is not how much you pay for milk. This is how much the wholesaler pays for milk. And in a second, you'll see great analysis, which I never heard before. And it's almost data. It's really good. So what happened with that PPI? Did it soften, get a little bit lower like the CPI yesterday? Or did it stay higher? It did soften. The producer price index, which gauges the final demand for wholesale prices, decreased but just a little bit. A half a basis point for the month of July caused in part by falling gasoline prices. It's still up a lot for year-to-date. Year-to-date is up 9.8%. But this annualized increase is the lowest when you look at an annualized basis since 2021. And more importantly, this is the first downward month since the start of the pandemic. Wow. So the PPI has gone up every single month since the start of the pandemic of April 2020. This is a major change even though it's a very, very slight downward pull. If you want to look at uh, examples are, on an annualized basis, it's been rising at um, you know 11.3 in July, 11.7 in March. It only went up on an annualized basis, which is basically saying compared to the prior year this month, it's up 9.8%. So this is where viewers like Lynn Glenn and Diane and others say get into the get into the core of the number. That's the headline number. That's the marquee number. Get into the specifics. Did everything go up or did some things go, not go up? Uh, did, did everything go down or did some things not go down? They actually went up. Yes. So while the PPI did go down as a headline number, when you take out food and energy, it actually increased month to month. Here you go. So when you remove energy, which is the falling price, the gasoline, the PPI still go went up just slightly, 0.2% month to date. This is really fascinating across the board. I like this quote because something I've never known. I, you know what's great about this channel? You learn, I learn. I'm learning something every single day because a lot of this stuff I just never heard of until the analyst says it. The analyst says the following in the following quote. He says, when the wholesaler pays less to buy the milk wholesale with the PPI coming down today slightly, how long do you see the milk cheaper? What a great point. I've always wondered that. Here we have the answer. It's about three months. So while the PPI with the wholesaler is paying to buy the milk before they resell to you, how long do you see it coming down? Three months. Here's a quote. Let me give the guy the credit because it's a great quote. Jeffrey Roach, chief economist at LBL Financial. We expect the producer prices to ease as supply chain improves, obviously. It could take up to three months for improved prices to get to you, the end consumer. Wow. Now, let's think in the back of my mind what's happening in three months. This is August. Well, I've been telling you there's a financial cliff potentially happening in September. So this is not before the financial cliff. That's no bueno. 
And the Federal Reserve doesn't come back until September. So there's a lot that can happen between now and then for the prices to come down across the board. Really fascinating across this report. Now, let me go over what happened yesterday, if you missed yesterday's recording. And let me put the, if you didn't miss yesterday's recording, let me put them together. Yesterday was the first of the three numbers for inflation that are released every month together. They start with your number, the consumer price index. How much are you, the consumer, paying for the goods? Then, the day after that, it's always the producer price index. They come one day and the next day. How much the wholesale is paying? That's today. And the day after that is the retail sales number. So what happened with that CPI print yesterday? Again, that's for the month of July. This is big news for your benefits. You know how that works. We'll go over it again in just a second. That CPI did cool just a little bit, but not a lot. And ironically, when I ran the store recordings yesterday for the CPI, I said it was a basically a flat number because guess what happened with that CPI? It cooled to 8.5, but it's not a big move. It's, it's, it's less than a quarter percentage point down. Today, the reports are now referring to the CPI move yesterday as flat. So they're not really saying cooling anymore or softening or lowering. They're basically saying fat because it really is flat. And why did it come down? Because gasoline. But again, viewers like you that should really want the data, the details, when you go in the details of yesterday's number, how much you're paying, the CPI, what did we see? Rent went up from June to July. Food went up from June to July. So a lot of the numbers in there do go up June to July which is causing the equation today to be fascinating. Has inflation peaked? Look at the gra graphic. Has inflation peaked? I know the graphic on the screen, which I'm looking at right now, <laughs> says inflation's not peaked. Obviously, it's not today's graphic. It's yesterday's graphic. But for August 11th, 2022, you could pencil down somewhere a light saying that inflation has peaked. I believe that inflation has now peaked. And what does that mean? What does peak mean? First of all, it means inflation has been going up, 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 up. And then what peaks, it means it gets to a mountaintop. And then it starts to maybe go flat, and then it eventually starts to go slowly down. I'm changing, my, I'm changing my analysis today because of the CPI print from yesterday, the PPI print released today. I believe that inflation has now peaked, meaning that inflation is going to slowly come down or remain flat. Now, you're immediately going to say, what about my benefits? I told you that before the CPI came in yesterday, that I'm not worried if inflation pulls back a quarter percentage point, it goes down 0.2%, that's nothing. It doesn't make any real significant difference to your benefits because your benefits are going to get this enormous lift. It would make a big difference if inflation, the CPI yesterday, fell from an 8.5 to a, you know, from an 8.7 to a 6%, or the PPI today was, you know, down 3%. That ain't happening anytime soon. So I do believe that inflation has peaked. Now let's go over what this means for your benefits starting right now. Lynn Glenn asked that great question two days ago. I hope my benefits go up. You don't have to hope it. They're definitely going up. They're absolutely going up, an astronomical amount. And the fact that, this, that the PPI today is down 0.5%, folks, that's flat. It's basically flat. One thing I just came to the back of my mind, because remember my recordings are always impromptu. I don't rehearse or anything. Remember, your benefits are not the headline CPI. Your benefits are tied to a subsection of the CPI, CPI-W, which may not be apple to apple. If gasoline falls and the CPI falls a little bit, it may not directly impact your CPI-W. So let's go into your benefits right now. The analysis starts right now on those incredible benefits. Your benefits are going to get a lift. This is you. If you're on SSA, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and more. Why? Because inflation is at the highest level of a generation. What do we need to see? Well, we saw the first month of data released yesterday, August 10th. That's the July CPI. Then we need to see the August CPI released around September 10th. And then the September CPI released around October 10th. And if inflation remains where it is, your benefits are going to go up a lot. Let's go over how where, and then the calculation. I think we've done enough lead-in on inflation that you understand. Inflation is really high, highest of a generation, 
And yeah, it's come down 0.2%, but that's basically flat. You're very good, you know, great circumstance. This is exactly what we wanted. We want it to stay where it is right now or, you know, down 0.1%. We're not going to sweat it for two more months and we're locked in because it's the highest of a generation. One of the things I said on afternoons, I like come up today at 3 o'clock. It's a brand new show. Make sure you watch it. And I want to see it right now because it's very important. Once your benefits go up, they never go down. So let's say we're done with all this. By the end of the year, your benefits go up 10%. Your benefits will be up 10% for the rest of your lifetime. They'll never go back to what your check is today. They'll go up to that new check amount. And then the year after that, if there's another lift, what there likely will be, another inflationary lift, let's say it's 2%, then there'll be 2% on top of that. So this check you're getting currently, you're never going to see again, ever, because you're getting this incredible lift of a generation. All right, let's go over why. Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, cost of living adjustment. It's determined by another number, in fact, three months of that number. The CPI-W, part of the CPI, for July released yesterday, for August released September, and for September released in October. So we need this number to stay relatively where it is, and you're going to lock in a lot of money. All right, let's go over the calculation of the money, and then we'll go over the analysis. Analysis is not fact, it's just analysis. First, let's go over the data. This is fact. Let's go over how this works. Your benefits are going up? Yes. Do you have to do anything? No. This is automatic stimulus. Direct deposit, otherwise in the mail, however, you get those checks. You, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits. If you're not on benefits and you're going on benefits, it's you. If you have multiple benefits, it's you. And it's absolutely incredible how much. It's about $5,000 for some viewers. For some will be less. For some will be more. The lift, the percentage lift will be the same percentage for every single viewer who's on benefits. And it's absolutely incredible. Do we need to watch three months of data? Well, we've seen one month today, which is almost, yeah, and yesterday, I guess you say, which is almost the same as the month before. And I got to tell you, we don't have to actually wait through the entire month to see the data because we have other inflationary benchmarks on this channel that are released between the CPI numbers. And that's like the personal consumption expenditure. There's other numbers that are released in between them, and we'll get a sense of the lift across the board. With that, let's jump into the analysis. The analysis is a private organization, the Seniors League of America, and they look at the data and they put their analysis. It's not fact, it's analysis. The CPI read for yesterday, the print, came in at 8.5%. They said based upon that 8.5% CPI, remember that number, 8.5 CPI, they say your benefits would go up 10.1%. Remember that, so it's higher than the CPI. 8.5 for yesterday, they say if it stays at that, if it stays at 8.5, then your benefits will go up 10.1%. Again, it's analysis, it's not fact. The Social Security Chief Actuary, Chief Actuary Steve Goss, has not spoken about the number. The Seniors League says that inflation, if it does cool, and they do not explain how much cooling is, which is really important. I mean, what does that mean? I don't know. Is that 1% down for inflation? Is it 2%? Is it down half a percent? I don't know what that means. Very vague statement. If inflation cools, then they say your benefits are going to go up 9%. Can you do the analysis? Absolutely. Can we do the analysis together right today, right now? Absolutely. Inflation CPI is composed of parts. And you can sit on your computer, you can sit on your phone right now with me and think about, do I think that item is going to go down in the next two months? Because I need to see this number over the next two months. Let's go over some examples. First, we learn a lot on this channel. I learn stuff. I love when I learn. I hope you do as well. Yesterday I learned that of the CPI, 30% of it is determined by rent. Now, if you want to think about this uh, um, pessimistically, like I would, if a landlord is getting a beautiful, massive rent check from you now, and they think the occupancy level is so low that they can still charge that massive rent price, for two more months, then why would the landlord reduce the price of rent? I don't see a reason why the landlord's going to reduce the price of rent for the next two months. If they're getting occupancy, if they're renting it out the apartment and they're not having problems renting it out and people are paying these massive prices for rent, I don't see a reason why the landlord's going to reduce the price of rent in the next two months. I don't see any reason to. So I don't think that one's coming down. The other one that I think you can do better than I, actually, I know you can do it better than I, because I'm in here in Los Angeles and Los Angeles does not have very volatile weather. 
we don't have cold winters and we don't have blistering summers. It's very mellow. But you may. And you may have the highest air conditioning bill in August of the year. I don't know. You just tell, you think in the back of your mind, I don't know. Does your air conditioning run more in August than in July? Does it run, or you have a hotter August than in July? Do you have a hotter September than in, than in August? If you do, then yeah, that's the analysis you can do in your mind. You think that the electric bills will be higher in the United States in the month of August. Well, then that CPI is going to go higher because that means energy costs are going to go up. It's pretty simple. This is how you get trained by me to look at the situation and think, well, I know my, my electric bill goes up in August. I know it goes up in September. So I don't think this inflation is going to cool much at all. And that's how you can take your learning from this channel and earn as well. And that is how your benefits are going up across the board. Now, that's my friends, what you need to get for some shocking of your estate. If this sounds like a confusing economy, it is. If this sounds like an economy that can really throw you for a ringer, it can. This is the economy which today on Afternoon's LA had a great expression for it. It's not the economy to summarize with a Facebook title of a post. <laughs> if you go to Facebook and there's that person that's always there on Facebook that says, I read the title of a post and I know exactly what everything is going on in this post. Well, you're not, that person's not going to survive the economy because you cannot read the title of something and know what's going on with this economy. And that is why you need to become a member. In the big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time. But let's get a preview of those checks right now. These incredible checks became a law by the President of the United States by executive action in the month of March. And they're huge sums of money. And you qualify. And we're going to go over all these incredible checks starting right now and what you need to know about those checks. Step one, go into this video and subscribe. You're watching the number three most watched financial news channel, America, on fire to become number two. Number two, join the channel, become a member. And number three, stay the big second half as we go over all those incredible checks one at a time. But first, let's go over a preview of these checks and what's at issue. These incredible checks were done by the President of the United States by executive action in the month of March. How much? About $100,000. You qualify. Done by executive action of Joseph Biden, that means it's federal stimulus. It's not from your states, from the federal government. About $100,000, a series of many different checks. You're going to meet some reviewers who have gotten 80 to 100 checks. This is not one check. This is dozens of checks. Federal law, president, every state, lots of checks, passed in March. Viewers have been getting it since March, and you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own it. If you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, if you have children, if you not have children, go get them. Dozens and dozens and dozens of different checks. We're going to go over all those incredible checks, become a member. Go right in this video and become a member. And in the big second half, we're going to go over all those incredible checks. How are this, how, where do you get these checks? In the membership newsletter. Go into this video, join the channel. Then you get the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That puts this all organized for you. And in that membership newsletter, you go down and apply for check A. You apply for check B. You, you apply for check, and then it tells you where to apply for where to reach out and apply for check C's. It's not one check A. It's not one check B. It's not one check C. And that is why I'm going to go over these worksheets with you right now because you're going to see how viewers are getting dozens, dozens of checks. It requires an initiative by you. You're not going to make one phone call and stop. You're not going to apply for one check and stop. You're going to apply for dozens and dozens and dozens of checks. And when you get paid, you're going to go back and get more checks for more months. And after those checks run out, you're going to get more checks across the board. Let's look at these wonderful worksheets. Viewers love them because they work and you don't have them anywhere else. Where are the worksheets? I'm holding up the worksheets. What is it? It's a PDF. It's about eight pages in length. Where do you get it? In the newsletter. Down around the third line of the newsletter, it says worksheets. And you can print it out from your phone or your computer, or you can download and follow along and write it on a separate piece of paper. First page is the worksheets. Let's look at it right now. Inflation, what did we learn today? Cooled a little bit, but not a lot. The producer price index released today cooled to 0.5%. That's less than that's a half a percentage point. That is after the cooling yesterday for the consumer price index. Recession. Uh, on Emi's LA, we're going to go over this big recession. I don't know if I'll have any time today, but we are going to go in a recession. We are in a recession. And the recession is going to be longer and more pronounced than initially thought. Then, third, labor. Here you go. 
So those jobless claims went higher again. 262,000 jobless claims, 260 the week before, 230 before that, 200. And yet, the headline number for labor that was released monthly, not weekly, like this one, is the unemployment rate, the lowest unemployment rate since 1969. We'll go over the implications of that tonight on evenings. Federal Reserve, Federal Reserve is back in September, they're off in August, and they're gonna do a 75 basis point. I was the first to say they would. 70% of Wall Street analysts disagree with me at that time. They 100% agree with me now because the Federal Reserve has basically said it. The next page of the worksheets is the one that has been the big winner. And what does that worksheet page look like? This is it right now. It's a table. It's a table for you to go down and take notes on the checks you apply for. Because you're going to be applying for a lot of checks. you got to keep track of it. And it's a table, one line is, one row is A, check A, check B, check C. If you have a success story and you post in the live chat, which I want you to do, I don't care if it's $100 or $10,000 or more, also please send it to me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash LA News because someone had another success story yesterday. And I missed it. I mean, I saw it on the live chat, but I forgot to write it down because I've been running around. So my apologies. I want to feature you on air because these are big success stories. The viewer got, I think it was rent for, oh boy, I think it was about eight months. This is different than the viewer the day before who got 14 months of rent. And the other, this is different than the other viewer who got 12 months of utilities about the same day as the guy who got the rent. Lots of success stories in a short period of time. The day before that, we had, uh, the week before that, we had Spelle, long time viewer, got check A, we're going to go over check C in a second, got check C's. And then the big success story, it's not a rarity, it happens all the time, a viewer got 80 to 100 checks. 80 to 100 checks. On afternoons I like today, I thought to myself, I paused and said, wait a second, that's not $80,000. That is, that, because it's, 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 it's 18 months of about five checks a month, it's astronomical. It's, it's, it's 180,000, it's 200,000. It's just a lot of money and it's happening all the time. What does she do? She's from Florida. She applied for check B. I call it check B, but it's not just one check B. She applied for it and she got the message from Florida. You've been approved, congratulations, great news. Gets better. She got her mortgage paid, wow, better the news than that. She got 18 months of her mortgage, oh boy. Now that's a lot of money. That sounds not tens of thousands of dollars, but it gets better than that. She also applied for all her utilities. All her utilities, all her utilities plus her mortgage, that's about five checks per month. Five checks per month times 18 months. That's a lot of checks. That's 8,100 checks. It's happening all the time. That's why you want to become a member, go to this video, and use those incredible worksheets. The next page of the worksheets is that fifth stimulus. And uh, that is what we're going over with that seniors league. They're saying uh, maybe a 10.1% raise if inflation stays where it is, 9.3%. Um, I asked you to think about this in your back of your mind. What are you thinking? I think we're not out of the woods yet. I think it's really dependent on those energy costs for August, which I'm really not a good source of that because I'm not in, a, in an energy dependent state. Um, even though our energy costs are very expensive here, we don't have that violent of a, of a summer like other parts of the country do. So if you think that the energy bills are much higher in August than July or much higher in September, then you may think it's going to stay about where it is. And their prediction is 10.1. If you think it's going to go higher, then it may go higher across the board. And the last page of the worksheets is, of course, the uh, student loan debt forgiveness. We'll go over more about this tonight on evenings. Don't forget to watch evenings. It's 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. It's a new show nightly. It's the breaking news because there is so much always happening throughout the day. It's the last recorded show of the day on this channel. In the big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time. And then we'll go over this recession. The importance of understanding this narrative that inflation has peaked what does it mean if there is inflation still, which there will be? What does it mean if there's recession plus inflation? There will be. And what does it mean for you, your money, your wallet, your stimulus, your stimulus check? 
It's very detailed. You haven't seen this detail before like this. It's coming up in the big second half. We'll go over all that money in the big second half. All you have to do is go into this video and make sure you're a member. Join this channel, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cow, so you know VIP. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as America's most watched show at the mornings continues. It's mornings, LA. Hope you're having a beautiful morning. Uh, if you're having that bacon, don't tell me. <laughs> If you're having delicious bacon, just keep it yourself, please. Mm. Uh, we're going good until I think, oh, uh, yeah, that's for me. All I have is digital bacon today. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. This morning till I continue. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now. On this August 11, 2022, live broadcast on the shores of Santa Monica. Welcome James, new member that joined just minutes during the commercial break. And there's Lorraine. She's in the live chat with Ann and Lacey and Bob Bacon and just a full cast of characters. So excited to see you this morning. This is a big week, and you know the details are not far from over because the retail sales are coming out. I believe it's tomorrow. We'll have the latest details on that. Plus, we'll have more of those earnings recessions tonight on Evening to LA. A lot to go over, and we're going to go over those incredible four stimulus checks starting right now. The President of the United States in the month of March did a series of executive actions. At the same time, the viewers are asking, LA, find me some checks. <laughs> and at the time, perfect timing, I found them. Dual mandate for myself and for you. I wanted big checks. Because at that time in February, I was the only American broadcaster to say we're going to recession. I went to dare say it at the time. I wanted big checks to help you survive this recession. Number two, I want broad eligibility so that you can get them. And number three, I want to put it simple way in a newsletter for you to go in, apply, go in and apply. We got it. Number one, big checks. About $100,000, a series of different checks. We're going to go over each of these incredible checks one at a time. Number two, broad eligibility. You qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, children and don't have children, go get it. It's a lot of checks. It's not one check. It's not one check. It's dozens and dozens and dozens of checks. Tonight on Afternoons LA, I go off a little bit. <laughs> I don't tirade, but I go off a little bit. Because there were three people yesterday that said they reached out for one check. And then they sort of stopped. Uh, that's not what I'm teaching on this channel. It's not one check. It's dozens and dozens and lots of checks. That's why it's so much money. That's why it's so much money. And let's go over all those incredible checks starting right now. I give it a lettering system on this channel. It starts with the letter A. And while I say check A, there's a lot of checks inside of each of these. Let's look at them right now so you understand how you do this. Take notes, follow along, replay the video, pull it back and, and replay that section, or watch the next video because you want to know this really well. The first check is a $6,500 to $12,000 for a single check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. How do you get this incredible check? Step one, subscribe. Step two, go into the video and join the channel. Become a member like James did during the commercial break. Then tonight, James will be getting the membership newsletter delivered Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Know your time zone via the YouTube member alerts. It comes exactly at 7 o'clock. It says newsletter. 
James is going to go down to his check A in the Incredible Newsletter. He'll click the link. He'll send you into the Nationwide website. Choose your state and then choose the Weatherizing Grant and rock and roll. You're ready to go get that application on file. He's not going to done that yet because you're going to go get check B. Check B is for the um, incredible fifteen dollars to $80,000 affordable check in every U.S. state. The homeowner's grant. Check A is the weatherizing grant. How do you get this incredible check? Step one, subscribe. Step two, go into the membership news, go down to the membership newsletter. Do you see check B? Choose your state and go in and get it. Check B is the check that the viewer out of Florida got 80 to 100 checks. Check A is the check that Speller got. He also got check C's. Look between A and B. That's $100,000 of checks right there. You're not done there. Yeah, you can go get check C. Check C is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. It's about 12 places you're going to reach out to. And so I also had one viewer again yesterday who really didn't listen and said, reached out to one place, told she doesn't apply, she doesn't qualify, and she's done with the whole searching out for checks. Folks, there's 12 places alone in check C for you to get checks. If you're making one phone call and calling it a day, that ain't how it works. You got to be very specific, listen to the video, do exactly what the video says, do exactly what the newsletter says. For check C, you're going to have 12 places to make a phone call to go get them. And you're going to go reach out to them for rent, utilities, mortgages, and more. It's so simple. Go get these incredible checks. How do you get it? Step one, go on this video and subscribe. Step two, go on this video and become a member. You're watching the number three most watched financial news channel in America. It's allied on fire to become number two. Nearly 100 new members yesterday. Returning members, make sure you stay a member and continue to be a member. Some members have been up on this channel over 20 months. And also, thank you to all the members who renewed, uh, excuse me, upgraded from Purple Hawk to Purple Power or similarly to Calcino VIP. A lot of changes coming to this channel across the board with new programming, new channels, LA2 and LA3 coming to this family in just days from now. The relaunched LLA.com website that has been featuring major breaking news. Yes, I had a story about inflation. You want to pop over and see that as well. So for that check C, what are the success stories for the check C? Let's look at some of the success stories for those check Cs. And one of the success stories, she's in the live chat right now. Her name is Lorraine. Let's look at those incredible check C success stories. We've been getting these check Cs for a long time because it's the residue of third stimulus. Do you want these sums of money for rent? Go get check C. Become a member. From twenty to 30000 up to Elizabeth and Mark and Nancy, go get check C. Look at utilities from Angela to Nancy. Go get check Cs. How about uh, Mark's brother lock at 15000 over 10 uh, for utilities? Same brother laws getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years for SNAP. And then combination of checks. Nisi was at 23000 She went to 50000 There's a combination of checks like rent and utilities, or check B plus utilities, a lot of combinations of checks you could do. Mark went from 32000 to 155000 because he went from this graphic, 32 to 50, and then this graphic to 100, and then he went to 166. And Lorraine, she's in the live chat, she was at 105, and now she's zooming even higher. I think it's about 150, may even be more, maybe a little bit less. She is winning on every step of the road. What is the similarity of these viewers? One, they're on all the live chats, just like Lorraine. You gotta know what's going on with this economy. As I say on Afternoons LA, you can't be that Facebook troll that reads titles of posts and think they know what's going on with the economy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I can't even read the titles and know what's going on with the economy. I can't even read the first paragraph of the breaking news stories and know what's going on with the economy. There's a lot going on, and you're gonna be on the wrong side of the equation. The analysis here is always on point. The predictions are always on point. I separate data from analysis, and you need to know this because this is your money. This is your livelihood. It's going to be two years of issues. I don't want to say problems or terror. It's going to be two years of issues, and you need to prepare accordingly for your family, and everyone's impacted differently based upon what you do with your life, and that's why you have to stay here and watch the details. Number two, they keep on getting checks. They keep on getting checks. You want to get a check and continue to get checks because that's how it works across the board. Become a member. Go around this video today and become a member across um, this channel and keep on getting those checks. If you have a success story, post in the live chat and also send to me a private message at facebook.com forward slash LA Life News and welcome to James, that new member during the commercial break. Inflation. If inflation has peaked, does that mean good times are here to roll? <laughs> 
What does that mean? Does that mean I get a pair of a lobster shorts in the mail? A congratulatory event? What is inflation peak? What does it mean for you? And is it great or is it bad or is it much of nothing? It's much of nothing. It's much of nothing. I'll tell you what's going on. Inflation may have peaked as I'm recording today in this recording. The headline number, the headline CPI, the top number, the hot top PPI number. Inflation may have peaked, means it's not going to go any higher. The core numbers that make up the CPI and PPI may still go higher. Like rent may still go higher. Energy, um, which is utilities, may still go higher. But the top line number, I believe, has now peaked. What does this mean for you? It means that inflation will likely, and this is my analysis, this is not fact, this is my analysis, is not going to come down dramatically. Inflation is not going to come down dramatically. The Federal Reserve has, a, has for a long time, all this year, saying they want to get inflation down to 2% by the end of the year. Every time they say it, I say they're not going to get it. Earlier this year, I said they're going to try to hope to get 4% inflation later this year. Sitting right now in August, looking back at what I said in February, where I said I had the hope, I said I they hope to get four percent. I think they're gonna have problems getting to four percent. I think that's a little too aggressive. By the end of the year, where would inflation be if what they're doing works at the Federal Reserve? Maybe six percent, maybe five percent, but it sure ain't going to four percent. It ain't going to three percent. It ain't going to 2%, and there's a very big likelihood it'll be at 7%. 8.5% CPI yesterday, it's likely, it's, it is very possible it's in the 6% in December. 6% inflation is no bueno. 6% inflation is bad news. 6% inflation, when you've had a heightened inflation for a whole year, is really bad news. So, that the fact that inflation has peaked is promising, but that's not good news if inflation still stays high for a lot more months to come, way after your benefits are determined for the month of August, September. Way past that, if we're at 6% inflation in you know, October, really bad news. Has, does it mean we're not going to have a recession? No. The fact that you have inflation does not mean, uh, the fact that inflation has peaked does not say you're not going to have a recession. That, that's actually incorrect. In fact, it's the reverse. If inflation remains pervasive at 6% or 7% or 5% in October, November this year, you're really having a recession. You're really having a recession. I'll explain this tonight on Eames L8 in prime time for you to understand. But this is critical for you to understand what's at issue. And that is why one analyst had the greatest quote of the day early this morning. I liked what he say, said. Let me explain to you what he said. The S&P 500 is one of the major indexes, like the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ. It's currently at 4,200, this S&P 500. In, on today, August 11th, it's 4,200. He was asked on broadcast news, where do you think that S&P 500 is going to be in December? 4,200. So he doesn't see it changing that much. So they say, what do you think is the issue? He says the issue is that inflation is not going to come down that much. We're going to have a recession. And that certain companies, certain stocks are going to go straight up and do really well because they can survive a recession. They can survive heightened inflation. And then other businesses will no longer be with us. They're going to go under. And that is really, I think, what's going to happen. That it's not going to be time and place where you can just throw your money into any stock, throw your money into any crypto, throw your money into any investment, and think that it's all going to be great across the board. It's going to be very detailed where this works and that doesn't work because you're going to have inflation plus recession, which are really bad news. Ultimately, some stocks will go through the roof. People make a lot of money. Some crypto will go through the roof. People make a lot of money. And other people who don't want to take the time to look at where things are, yeah, it's not going to be a good sign. <laughs> so that's why you need to get that for Simple check in every U.S. state. Coming up next is if you're watching the show when it airs initially at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, you'll be sent right into the 11 o'clock noontime show. Then we have a 1 o'clock, a 2 o'clock, and, of course, the major brand new L Afternoons LA show at 3, a brand new Evenings LA at 5 o'clock. Don't miss that show. It's going to be a big one tonight. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, thank you for joining me on air for the breaking news about that PPI release minutes ago and the breaking news on that labor number release minutes ago. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, don't forget to become a member. Purple Hawk, Calcino VIP. 
And if you're watching this on LA Live, you'll stay here because the feed will be updated throughout the day with the latest breaking news. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful morning, and stay with LA for more.